Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Design with Ruzwe. Continuing with CSWA practice problems, today we'll work on question 4.9. Let's take a look at this question. So in this question, unit of measurement is millimeter gram second. Like always, we need to ensure we are using the same unit of measurement in solid work setting. Now, looking at this geometry, clearly we have a symmetric geometry. You can see the top view here. You can see the 3D model, front view, and the right view. My preference is to focus on the top view. Because it's a symmetric geometry, I'm going to only focus on half of this geometry. I make a 2D sketch of the top view, then I use extrude bus feature to make the 3D model, then I use mirror command to make the overall geometry, and finally I'm adding rest of the features like this cutout, this hole, and this cutout. So with this introduction, let's jump into SolidWorks and start modeling this part. In SOLIDWORKS, first thing first, we need to check unit of measurement. And you can see that we have millimeter gram second, which is a correct unit of measurement. Now I click on a sketch, I choose top line. Because this is a symmetric geometry, I click on line command, and then I click on center line to draw a symmetry line here. Now, all I need to do is to make a rough 2D sketch. So let's click on line command, and I start from here. I go up, right, down, then I go right, going down, something like this. And then going up, and then going to the left. Awesome. So now that we have this rough 2D sketch, it's time to add some dimensions. So let's click on Smart Dimension command, and then I start with this line. The length of this line should be 10 millimeters. So this is 10. The length of this top line should be 28. So that's 28. I know the distance between this line and the symmetric line on the other side should be 38 millimeter. You have two options, as I explained in the previous video. You can either define this distance and say 38 divided by 2 or the other option is let me delete this the other option is you click on this line you click on this line and you simply go to the other side of the symmetry line and SolidWorks automatically show you the distance to the symmetry object so click on it and this distance should be 38 the angle between this inclined line and the symmetry line is 52 divided by 2 which is 26 degree we also know that the distance between this point and this point should be 33 millimeter we also have one more dimension which is 120 millimeter from left to the right side of the geometry in order to add that dimension I need some construction line let's click on line command and then here I make a line. First, click on this line and change it to construction geometry. And we want this line to be collinear with this line. So hold control, select this line, and from the options, choose collinear. And of course, this point and this line, they should be coincident. Now, we can add dimensions. Click on the smart dimension from left side of the geometry to this point the distance should be 120 awesome so now we added this dimension we have two more dimensions that we need to add if you look at the right view of the geometry you see two width the first one which is the largest number is 61 millimeter that's the overall width of the geometry so we can say that the distance between this top line and the line on the other side should be 61 millimeters. So I click on the center line and I simply go to the other side and this distance should be 61 millimeter. The next dimension that we have is 41 millimeter. That's actually the distance between this line and a symmetry line on the other side. So that's basically defining widths of the geometry in this section. So what I can do, I can click on a smart dimension, click on this line, click on this line, and this distance should be 41 divided by 2. Awesome. So now you can see that I have the 2D sketch that I want. Okay. So 
We are ready now to make the extruded boss feature. However, if you look at the 3D view, you can clearly see that our object has two different heights, the first section and a second section. So what we can do just to make our life easier, I can draw a line here to make this geometry, to divide this geometry into two different sections. Now, if I want to use extruded boss feature, I can simply choose contour one, left contour, or a right contour, okay? So now we have everything, everything is ready. Click on feature, click on extruded bus. Now SolidWorks asks you to define a contour because we have two contour, we need to select it. Let's first focus on the first part of the geometry, which is this part. The overall height of the geometry, if you look at the right view, should be 52 millimeters. So I change the distance to 52, I click on OK, and that's it. Now. In order to use extruded bus feature again, I click on extruded bus. And in order to active previous sketch, click on model tree, click on extrude bus and activate this sketch. Now here, select this contour. And if you look at the right view in the geometry, you can see that the height of this part of the geometry should be 29 millimeters. So I can change this one to 29, click on OK, and that's it. Awesome, so now we have half of the geometry modeled. In order to make the other part of the geometry, you can simply click on mirror command. For the mirror command, you can select the mirror face to be this side, and you can click on body to mirror, and for the body, you can select this body. Click on OK, and that's it. So that's the 3D model of the geometry. Next step, let's add more features. We need a cutout in this part of the geometry. In order to make that cutout, I can click on a sketch, I click on a sketch, and I select this surface. First, let's make a center line because again, this cutout should be symmetric. Next, I'm gonna draw a rectangle. Click on rectangle command, and then here, I'm gonna have a rectangle. This cutout should be symmetric. So what I can do, I can select this line, hold control, select the symmetry line, hold control, click on this line, and from the options, I'm gonna choose symmetric. The width of the cutout is 23 millimeters. So let's add that dimension. This is 23. And the height of it is 11. Click on feature, click on extrude cut, and then cut this. Next, let's focus on a cutout and this part of the geometry. What we can do first, we can click on a sketch, click on a sketch, and then here I'm gonna select this surface. Now, all we need is a rectangle here to make a cutout. So I can click on rectangle and I make it rectangle here. We know that the height of the cutout should be 12 millimeters. So I click on a smart dimension and then the distance between this line and this line is 12 millimeter. Also, looking at the top view, you can see that the distance between this side, the left side of the rectangle, and the right side of the geometry is 22 millimeter. But because dimensioning that arbitrary point is difficult for me, what I can do, I can dimension that with respect to the left side of the geometry. We know that the overall length of the geometry is 120 millimeter. We know that the distance between this line and the right side of geometry is 22. So what I can do, I can simply dimension this line and the left side of the geometry, and this distance should be 120 millimeter minus 22 millimeter. Click on OK, and that's it. And that's pretty much it. You don't need to define these edges. As long as this rectangle cut through my geometry I'm fine with it. So you can have a big rectangle like this or like this, doesn't matter. Click on feature, click on extrude cut. And then here you can see that I can increase this length. As long as it's passed through this geometry, we are happy. Click on okay and that's it. And that's the cutout that we were looking for. Okay, final step 
is to add a hole on this geometry. So click on a sketch, click on a sketch, and again choose this plane. All I need to do is to draw a circle. So click on circle command, and then here I'm going to make a circle. Click on the smart dimension. The diameter of this circle should be 11 millimeters. So this is 11. Also, it seems like looking at the geometry, it seems like that the center point of the circle and the, this line, horizontal line, they should be on the same plane. So I click on them and then choose coincident. Awesome. So now I have a fully defined geometry here. Let's click on feature, click on extrude cut. And now we want to cut this all the way to the other side. Click on OK, and that's it. Awesome. So that's it. That's the final geometry. That's all we are looking for. Now it's time to check the total volume and make sure that this is the correct model. Let's go back to the question and check the total volume. In the question, you can see the total volume shown here. The total volume is 141,606 cubic millimeters. Let's go back to our model and check the total volume in our model. In SOLIDWORKS, like always, if you want to check the volume, click on Evaluate, click on Mass Properties. And here you can see the final answer. The final answer that we found is 141,605 cubic millimeters. If you round up this number, you can see it's 0.97. If you round up this number, you're going to get exactly the same answer as shown in a question. This is showing that our model is correct and there's no problem with it. Okay, awesome. I think that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave comments down below. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ruzbe. Hope to see you again soon in the next videos.